Alley Cats and new viewers. So today I wanted to do a fun tag video just to spice things up. This was originally done by Books and Lala so I will link her video in the description box down below. But this was originally a book tag. I'm changing it up to be a film tag but I'm more in love and invested in films than I am with literature. Don't get me wrong I love books but movies are more my forte. But this is the Stranger Things film tag. And I'll have all the questions listed down below in the description box if you'd like to do this tag yourself. And you could totally do this for film, TV, video games, movies, music, I mean anything. Change it up however you want. So I'd really be interested in seeing your response if you do make a response video to this. But let's just get started. First up, the first question is epic intro. The opening sequence of Stranger Things is amazing and really grabs your attention. Name a movie that grabbed your attention from the first scene. There are so many movies that just grab your attention from the first scene, but one that was really memorable to me was From Dust Till Dawn. From Dust Till Dawn starts with the Gecko Brothers robbing the liquor store, and it's just a, such a powerful scene, and you get to know the Gecko Brothers, and it's so over the top, and I just loved it so much. It made me fall in love with Robert Rodriguez as a film director, and I just think it's a superb film. Question number two, Dungeons and Dragons. Name a fantasy world you would like to experience yourself. I'm going to have to go with Middle Earth from the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy because it's just so full of different locations and landscapes and there's monsters and dragons and there's hobbits and dwarves and orcs and it just seems like such a unique, fascinating world. Third question, Squad Goals. When Eleven met Mike, Dustin, and Lucas, it was a mostly perfect team. Name your favorite group of film friends. I'm going to have to go with the X-Men because I've been a huge X-Men fan ever since I was a little girl and I love the camaraderie between everyone. I love the clashing personalities. I love how they have to band together to defeat Magneto or whatever other villain they're up against and I just adore the X-Men films in general, even the weaker ones. So I'm going to have to go with the X-Men. 4. ABCs and Christmas Lights Joyce Byers goes mad with grief after Will goes missing. Name your favorite mentally unhinged character. One that's really memorable to me is Jeffrey Goins from 12 Monkeys. I adore that film and Brad Pitt was phenomenal as Jeffrey Goins. He was just so unhinged and so crazy and it was just such a good performance. 5. The Upside Down Name a film that was the opposite of what you expected. I'd have to say a film that was the opposite of what I expected would be Predestination. I don't want to go into it because it would ruin the film, but it's such a good science fiction film. I did not predict the twist at all. It's so good. You have to see it if you haven't seen it. It's just wonderful. Ethan Hawke and Sarah Snook are fantastic in this film. I highly recommend it. 6. Mad Scientists Dr. Brenner likes to get freaky with humanity. Name the freakiest dystopian government you can think of. Since dystopian films aren't as popular as dystopian books, this is a little more difficult to think of. I would have to say the society of Brazil is pretty freaky. Brazil is another film from Terry Gilliam. He also directed 12 Monkeys. And it's just so weird and so fucked up and it's just so visually arresting and it's interesting. There's so much going on, so I have to say Brazil. Question number seven. Demogorgon. Name a scary film creature that you would not want to come through your walls. Okay, a scary film creature that I would not want to come through my walls would definitely be Pennywise from It. Have I seen It? I have not seen it yet, but I know I would be totally terrified and would pee my pants if I saw it Pennywise come through my wall. And the last question, number eight, cliffhanger ending. Name a film that left you wanting more. A film that left me wanting more would definitely be Serenity. This is the film that came after Firefly was abruptly canceled. And I just wanted more because I'm so in love with the universe of Firefly and Serenity. I just need more, okay? I need more. Again, you can change this to be about video games or TV or books or whatever you're into. It's super fun. I had so much fun filming this. Let me know what you think down below in the comment box. Like the video if you liked it. Share the video if you'd like to because that's actually really, really helpful for me and the channel. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so we can be best friends and you never miss a video of mine because 
you know how entertaining I am. Some people say I'm too entertaining. And if you'd like to follow me on any social media sites or check out my blog, they'll be listed in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Peace and kisses. Bye.